ago, it was being reported that Mission Impossible Rogue Nation director and co-writer Christopher McQuarrie was in talks to helm the upcoming Mission Impossible 6. Now McQuarrie has taken to Twitter to announce he has agreed to direct the next installment of the Tom Cruise franchise when he tweeted, Mission accepted. Mission Impossible 5 took in over $682 million at the worldwide box office. Schnepp, was it the right move for Paramount to bring McQuarrie back for MI6? Most definitely. I mean, that's the that music to my ears. Mission accepted. <laughs> I accept that he accepted it. I can't wait I accept to that see. He accepted yeah, it. I cannot wait to see the sixth one with uh, Tom Cruise and him back on the back and directing it and writing it. So, I have to say, Rogue Nation blew me away. It's it was my top number one spy movie of the entire year. Better than Spectre, better than Spy, better than Uncle, all these other, <laughs> other these pale comparisons. Nothing was better than Ro Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Mission Impossible 5 was better than all the previous four Mission Impossibles. So to keep this team together is a no-brainer, and I'm happy that they were able to make it work. Yeah, this is, uh, this is great news. This is absolutely fabulous news because not only has he just done a great job with Mission Impossible 5, we've talked about this on the show before. The relationship between him and Tom Cruise, when these guys work together, good things happen. Mm -hmm. He has either written or directed Mission Impossible 5, Jack Reacher, which some people don't like, but I really do enjoy it. I think Tom Cruise's most underappreciated film, Valkyrie. Mm. Now he's going to be doing this as well. This is just fantastic news. Now, when we heard reports about a month ago that McQuarrie was going to be in talks to do it, I think for most of us it hit us as, of course, well, of course he's going to be in talks to do it. You've got to get this guy back. But as the days progressed and we didn't hear confirmation, I was starting to worry that because of the success of MI5, that a lot of other studios will come courting. Now, I had heard as well that Marvel went knocking on Christopher McQuarrie's door. Now, then I heard that. We still hadn't heard confirmation about MI6. I started to get worried, <laughs> right. but I'm very glad that he's coming back because I just... I think Tom Cruise right now is at his best when he's working with him. And so I think this is just fantastic news for anybody who appreciated MI5. Mark? I love when we kick off movie talk with stories like this. Because we're all just happy. It's not like, oh, is Fantastic Four 2 going to get made? No, I don't really care. This one is great news. But we're, and we're all assuming that he's actually talking about Mission Impossible 6 here. Well, like, he just tweeted Mission Accepted. That could be right. a good bowel movement. We don't know what exactly he's talking about, but we assume so because he's Christopher McQuarrie and they had such great results with the last movie. I will say this, is that every new Mission Impossible movie has had a new director. And usually it works yeah. pretty well because they yeah. infuse a fresh sense of energy into the films. I don't fear that with Six. I don't fear that Six is getting stale because Tom Cruise is the guy that's a star and he's probably a producer and he has a lot going on Six. Mm -hmm. Even more so than Jack Reacher 2, which I didn't love Jack Reacher at all. I really did not like that movie. I was very You're let down. You're not alone. You're not but alone. But I'm still happy that he's doing Jack Reacher 2 because I like Tom Cruise in an action role and Mission Impossible 6. You're right, Schnapp. It was the best spy movie this year. Sorry, Kingsman. You gave a hell of an effort, but yeah. MI5 was the best, and I think MI6 is going to be right up there. And, you know, and I would have been totally cool, too, if they had come out and he said, look, I'm not going to direct it, because like you said, every MI movie has had a different director. Mm -hmm. If they came out and he just said, look, I'm going to write this one, because he is going to co-write number six, if they just said that, I still would have been happy. And I'm the type of guy that I don't like one director staying on one property for too long. But as long as they mix it up, I maybe wouldn't want him to come back for seven because I want him to stay fresh and keep the thing fresh. But I think two in a row, perfectly acceptable. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you didn't like Werner Herzog and Jack Reacher? <laughs> come on, guys. I love Werner Herzog yes. and Jack Reacher. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.